Bizarre rules Vince McMahon made his WWE wrestlers follow. He banned his name being mentioned. The WWE Hall of Fame should always be a celebratory show in tone. Yet Vince McMahon has always had one strict rule in place, and that is that talent have never been allowed to name drop him in any capacity. McMahon believes that the Hall of Fame should be all about the talent themselves, and the former WWE chairman took this rule to the next level in 2019. When Bret Hart name dropped McMahon during his speech, McMahon was utterly furious, and the majority of the blame fell on the writer of the speech. The writer reportedly quit before he was fired, as he knew the writing was on the wall. Pronouns are banned. It's well documented that Vince McMahon liked to micromanage his commentators as much as possible, and one set rule he had in place for them was that they weren't allowed to use pronouns. He, she, they pronouns weren't allowed, and legendary commentator Jim Ross on the Grill and JR podcast offered some fascinating insight into this rule. So use names, use the big redhead, the, the champion, the challenger, the 300 pound or something. There's a zillion things out there that an announcer can use other than he got him. Banned keywords. Vince McMahon has always had a strange relationship with the English language, and whilst he was running WWE, he had a strict ban on certain words being used by his talent. Here are some notable examples of phrases that McMahon banned and the word he instead permitted. The word wrestler has been banned in favor of superstar. Hospital was banned in favor of local medical facility. McMahon hated the idea of calling the WWE audience fans, so we introduced the term WWE Universe. McMahon loathed the term pro wrestling, so we coined the term sports entertainment, which has been used on WWE programming for several decades. McMahon also wasn't a fan of the word belt, and if a wrestler used the phrase title belt, they would be verbally berated by the controversial figure. Instead of the term belt, McMahon preferred the word championship. Dress code. In 2004, McMahon suddenly decided that he wanted to implement a strict dress code across the company. This dress code stated that wrestlers must arrive at the arena wearing smart clothing, and any wrestler who broke this rule would be punished with a fine. One wrestler who took exception to the rule was a young Randy Orton, who often questioned the rule and asked why he couldn't just wear jeans. No nodding and sneezing. There have been numerous stories over the years relating to how McMahon acts in meetings. One rule that McMahon has often implemented is the no nodding and sneezing policy. McMahon had been notoriously stern when it comes to this rule, especially when it comes to sneezing. There have been various stories from ex-talent discussing McMahon's hatred towards the natural act. According to his daughter Stephanie McMahon on the Bill Simmons podcast, her father hates the act of nodding and sneezing because it's an act he simply can't control. Someone's talking and up, you know, someone starts nodding. It's like you're going to influence the room one way or the other. You sh you shouldn't influence the room. Let people think what they want to think. Yeah, he hates sneezing because it's involuntary and he cannot control it. No fourth wall breaks. A fourth wall breaks are found in all types of media and entertainment. And when it comes to WWE and pro wrestling, they surface when a wrestler addresses the audience directly through the camera. McMahon has had a negative viewpoint on wrestlers doing this and has been prohibited, that is with the exception of WrestleMania 36. When Drew McIntyre defeated Brock Lesnar to become WWE Champion, he looked directly into the camera and thanked everyone at home. This was a special moment as the event was taking place at the Performance Center in front of zero fans due to COVID, so this was McIntyre's and WWE's way of showing their gratitude. But there you have it folks, bizarre rules that Vince McMahon made his WWE wrestlers follow. Be sure to leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.